Hi there, welcome to Shepherd's Photography. Today I've got another unboxing for you. It's something that's going to go right there and keep my speakers company. So, any idea what it is? No? Well, it's a... I've wanted one of these for a long time. In fact, several versions before uh, this one. So uh, the old Mac Mini died downstairs, so the uh, Mac Mini that was upstairs has gone downstairs, leaves the place. And uh, a Mac Mini wasn't just quite cutting it anymore with the video editing. So I bit the bullet and um, went for the iMac. So let's have a look in the box. Okay, so we have the uh, standard glorious Apple packaging. Pull tag across the top here. Okay, I expect you're actually wanting to know what version I have gone for. Um, I bought it from the Apple store and you can only buy the um, set uh, models without upgrades from the store uh, but this is the high spec base model um, with the 8 gigabyte of memory a 2 terabyte fusion hard drive 580 graphics card with 8 gig of VRAM so the best of the best without upgrading so let's get in work out the best way of taking this out without breaking it or dropping it. As usual with Apple, all this stuff fits together absolutely perfectly. These are actually foam padded to make sure that there's no, no impact. Here the uh, power loop. Even the underside of the foot has protective wrapping. So here we see so there's no height adjustment on the screen, but there is tilt. And if you want to move it this way, then it has to pivot on the foot. I've got a riser that I used before, but looking for the clearance I've got at the top of this desk, I shall probably just use it as it is. So uh, let's get the power on. Nice thing with Apple, just a single lead, no box or transformer or anything else like that. So we have power in the back. Okay, so on the back we have four USB standard ports, two USB 3 Thunderbolt ports, an Ethernet connection, an SD card, and a headphone socket, which I will use right now to connect up my speakers. I like the look of that. Now, not having owned an iMac before, I'm not familiar with where you turn it on. I assume. There's a button. So, I don't know how many minutes that took, 
not very many, but from unbox to almost log on, what a pleasure. It's always nice unwrapping uh, Apple Kit, as you know. Um, this will be the same as anything else. Apple ID in, tell it whereabouts you are in the world, connect up to your um, Ethernet or your Wi-Fi situation and uh, and you're away. So that's all booted up fine. It's asking me for the Perfurios. This box wasn't only the keyboard. It has the uh, Apple mouse in there as well. Charging cable for the mouse and keyboard. Some instructions. So, as it says on the uh, screen, and we start the familiar process. I'm actually going to use an Ethernet cable for this, so I shall, uh, I shall skip this just now. I've got all of my information on and so I won't be moving anything across. Okay, so, up and running. That really was a pleasure, as it is with uh, most Apple products. Um, First impressions, the screen looks a bit brighter, a bit more vibrant. Um, I believe it's 500 nits brighter. Doesn't mean a great deal to me. It certainly wouldn't be something that would make me upgrade, but um, that's really nice. I really like that. Um, I'm gonna leave it here. That's unboxing, two set up, and uh, ready to go. Um, if you've got any questions, comments, please leave them below. Um, I'm more than happy to come back and answer. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. That helps me out. I do other unboxing videos. Um, maybe there's something else you'd like to see. I will be buying a few more accessories for this, um, an external hard drive and things like that. So if you're interested in this, the new, brand new uh, iMac 27 inch 2017 model um, and what goes with it and what you can put with it, this might be somewhere to keep checking into. So I'll leave it there. Thanks for checking in. All the best. Bye-bye.